This week, a diabolically simple trick that'll blow minds and won't require a sleight of hand. None at all. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Host Gator and Jack Threads. Cha-cha. Welcome to the show that's just like magic, only not totally dorky. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we have a trick that was sent in almost a year ago by a fan of the show that I gotta be honest, I thought was so simple that couldn't possibly be an amazing trick, and it turns out that it absolutely exploded some brains. Let's check it out. All right, Ian, good to meet you. Colleen, Dana, Josh, awesome to hang with you guys. Who's gonna be our deck shuffler? Dana, hey, brave soul. Go ahead and shuffle up those cards until you're completely convinced there's no possible way I can know the order of the cards. Are you happy with them? No. No, okay, well then by all means, take your time. Officially good. All right, Dana, I swear, this is your last chance. You wanna change your no, mind? No, I Are you absolutely time. sure? I'm good, I'm good. All right, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a prediction. It's gonna be a secret prediction, all right? There we go. I'm gonna keep it totally secret. Now you shuffled the cards. So let me get, I'm gonna give Ian the privilege. You hold on to the prediction here. Ian, I'm gonna riffle down through these cards. You say stop whenever you want. Stop. All right, go ahead and slide the card. I'm, in fact, I should say, whenever yeah, you say again, stop. All right, all right. Slide the card in whenever you want. Stop. All right. Dana, you shuffled the cards. Ian decided where the prediction went into. I'm gonna give you the option, Josh. Do you wanna move it up or move it down or leave it where it is? Move it down. You're gonna move it down. Here, do me a favor. You pull, pull the prediction out. Pull the prediction out. This? Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna ripple down, say stop. Go. There we go. Yes. All right, now are you happy with that? Are you all happy with that? Uh, I'm all right with Ian, that. you wanna change it? We can change it. I swear we can change it. All right, now we're gonna be totally fair here. So at this point, I don't know if you know this, but one thing that magicians will do is they'll say they're writing a prediction and they'll write nothing. And then later, they'll do a switcheroo for another prediction. So I'm gonna trust one of you guys to actually look at the prediction. Ian, yeah, only you, do not, do not look at, don't let anyone else see it. I want you to memorize both of those values. All right, you got it? You remember what it is? All right, there we go. Now, here's the important thing. Who's the one person who has not touched the cards yet? Colleen. Colleen, you do Aww. me a favor, take the cards. Take the cards. And I want you to spread them out until you uh, find the prediction in the middle. And I want you to spread them out like you're doing, like you're asking someone to pick a card. So find the prediction. All right, all right, now stop, stop. Hold it out for Josh. Hold it out for Josh. Spread, spread it all the way even. There we go. Josh, I want you to take the prediction and the card above it and the card below it and pull it out. Let's take a look what you got here. Now remember. You shuffled the cards. That's all I did. You decided where the prediction was going to go. That's a fact. Then you changed his mind and decided the prediction was going to go somewhere Gosh, else. I know. And then oh, you friends. changed it another time it to, to put it in yet another place. I do that. I do that. Yeah. Then you, oh, and then you verified, I guess both of you verified that it wasn't a fake prediction. Because I saw it. That there really was something I predicted in advance. I saw it. I for sure saw it. Dude, you, oh, don't mess with me. You oh, saw the numbers, all and right? And then Josh changed it again. And then, okay. And then Everybody Colleen else. spread the cards. Who, uh, Josh pulled out the cards, and we ended up with two cards and the prediction. And I wrote down 10 of diamonds, that's nine fact, of spades. That's a fact, that's a fact. Let's see, what is it? Are you guys gonna freak out? I'm gonna freak yeah, out. Damn, boy! Yeah. All right, that was a mess. That was a mess. See, that's that good. That's mess. good. Here's the important that thing: Do you guys want to learn how to do that one? Yes. Well, then yes. give it up right here for our sponsors, oh, and throw yes. throw lime wedges all yes. over the place. Let's talk about HostGator. They can get your blog or website up and running in minutes, not talking hours or days. They have plans starting at just $4.95 a month. You get 24 hours a day, seven days a week support and access to website building tools with over 4,000 templates. They'll even migrate you from your crappy, old, busted, smelly old service to their awesome new site completely for free. Their servers are 130% powered by wind energy, so it's totally green. They got unlimited disk space and bandwidth. I'm sorry, let me say that again. They've got unlimited disk space and bandwidth, a 45-day money-back guarantee, and $100 in Google AdWords credit to market your site. You get to put the word out about your badass new site right there at HostGator. And guess what? Best part of all, HostGator giving you 25% off your order for the first month 
month free, head on over to HostGator.com. But here's the important part. Use the code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout. And I'm not saying do this for yourself to get the 25%. I'm saying doing it for me so I can get the credit. Because it's my free beer that's giving you guys the hookup. All right, you guys ready to learn this thing? Yep. Oh, really? That's your enthusiastic Josh response? Oh, uh, yep. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, now we're talking. All right, first thing. Yes. It looks complicated because there's a lot of steps, but that's to hide the brilliantly simple method to the whole thing. First of all, you really do shuffle the cards, Dana. Yeah, shuffle. Great okay. card shuffling master. You got it? One more time. One more time. All right, you got it. You got it. Here, let me get let me get off the here. Let me wipe down the deck. There we go. All right, now, once the cards are shuffled and they're totally satisfied, there's one secret move you gotta do. And that's hold the cards in your hand like you're about to deal. And then if you turn them over and you push over the top card, here's what I'm doing. What I do is I'm pointing at you guys. So for example, let's say Josh shuffled the cards. I'll look at Josh and I'll say, are you totally sure that you're happy with how the cards are shuffled? All I'm doing is I'm pushing forward the top card. That way I now know what the bottom card and the top card is, even though you guys shuffled it, right? So the first move is I, I do this, I say, are you totally sure? So I now I'm thinking jack and four of spades. I say, I'm gonna make a prediction and I thoroughly cover the prediction so nobody yeah. cheats and looks. I do jack of spades I didn't cheat. It was and like, four open. of spades, like that. And then I flip it upside down. Now I go to somebody else. It, it, you wanna use different people for different parts of the trick. So I go to Ian. Ian, say stop whenever you want. Sure, yeah. Just put yeah, it in. right about there. All right, there you go, put it in. Now let's say we just stop right there. So once it's in there and you're satisfied with where the prediction is, I see it. you spread through the deck, and now here's the important part. You need to pick somebody. What I do is I, I don't get halfway like this. I square up so I have two packs of cards, one in the left and one in the right. Both of them squared into blocks, right? And I say, I need one person to be the secret person who could verify that I really did make the prediction in advance. So let's say I'm, I'm going with, with Ian, right? Yeah, hey. And here's what I'm doing. The prediction was here at a random spot in the middle of the deck. I pulled it like this. I flipped it over to the other pack. And then I flipped it back over. Oh, it looked like it went that way, yeah, yeah. So now what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm actually putting it between the top and the bottom card. Right. This is, so you you put it there, but in flipping it over and showing it to you, right. and in flipping it over again, it hasn't got anywhere. I'm yeah. now putting it between the top and the bottom yeah. card, right? And so now I hand it to another person, so my you hands are off. That. The yeah. most, the more time that you can spend with your hands off the deck, the better it is. You spread the cards. There you go, all right, all right, all right. Now you pull out just these three, and you check the prediction. That was his job. And you verify the match, and then you look like a damn freaking wizard. And then they cut for you like that. That's what you do. All right, listen, I know there are exactly five girls in the entire universe who watch this show, but ladies, let me give you a little clue here. We guys hate shopping. I understand you want to go to the shopping mall. I understand you want to look at all the latest fashions and feel pretty and try stuff on. Guys, not interested in it. We hate shopping for clothes. But good news for us, bad news for you ladies, Jack Threads. Jack Threads is a members-only online shopping club. They do all the dirty work for us, guys. They save us a boatload of cash every day. Jack Threads serves up the hottest brands up to 80% off what you'd pay in a store. Suck on that, shopping mall. We're talking brands like Kid Robot, The Hundreds, American Apparel, for way less you'd find anywhere else. Now here's the thing though, Jack Threads is a private club, but luckily guess who's got the hookup? Hint, me. Scam School's got the hookup, so head on over to jackthreads.com slash scam. That's S-C-A-M, and you can become a member right away. And did we mention it's free to join? So you don't have to please your lady no more. Get on over to jackthreads.com slash scam, and you'll instantly start saving without having to leave the house because you're lazy. I'm gonna show you guys the first coin trick I ever learned. It's super old. There are three coins in the three coin trick. Coin number one goes in the left hand, right? Coin number two also goes in the left hand. Coin number three, that is the magic, that's the magic coin. Magic coin goes inside my pocket. All right, how many coins did you watch me put in the left hand? That's right, but you gotta remember, it's the three coin trick. Watch this, here, we'll do it again, there you go. How many coins in the left hand? That's right, how many coins in the right hand? All right, watch. 
is how many coins, how many coins go in the left hand. How did you do that? I didn't, I didn't do anything yet. Right the there. third Sit coin, right that's the magic coin. This is the one that goes inside my pocket. And it, it really does go, it really does go inside the pocket, right? How many coins did you watch me put in the left hand? Two, that's right. But you got to remember, it's the three coin freaking trick. All right, how many coins? How many coins? That's right. How many coins? Two. That's right. Three coin goes right here in my pocket with all the others. How many coins are in the hand? Three. You know what? No. Some say two, some say three, but I tell you what, you guys gonna be that way, I'm not gonna do the trick at all. First and foremost, wanna give a huge thanks to Jeff Hansen for sending this in almost a year ago. I'm sorry it took so long to get to your trick. Second of all, eagle-eyed observers may notice that the method of this trick is almost identical to the crisscross course that we taught back in the controlled cards episode. And you, sir, are absolutely correct. This is a great example of how a simple principle can be applied in a totally different way. If you involve as many different people as you can, people forget which pile was in which hand at which time, and they're gonna be convinced that somehow they put that prediction right in between those two cards. Now, I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so post them at the boards at scamschool.tv where you can see all of our episodes right back to the beginning. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool, or if you have any questions, ask me directly. I reply to all my at replies at twitter.com slash wood. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com and make sure to join us next week because we're going to learn how to turn a shower curtain rod into a very cost-effective plunger. But until then, I'm back to the bar.